Jacinda Ardern has delivered her final speech to Parliament, wrapping up a remarkable 15 years in politics. The former Prime Minister reflected on the good moments and the tough ones in front of a packed public gallery. Here's political editor Jenna Lynch. Let's do this one last time. Tēnā koutou. Tēnā koutou katoa. The final words of a political powerhouse. I would rather be criticised for being a hugger than being heartless. And so hug I did a lot. The reflection on 15 years in here, five of them at the top. The Jacinda Ardern we know today, reflecting on the woman she was when she first arrived at Parliament in 2008. I want to share with you the words that I wish to haunt me. I was 28 years old. If I'm honest, I was probably more than a little shocked to be here. A feeling that even after 15 years, never quite left me. The one who was anointed Prime Minister. An absolute honour and a privilege. It's fair to say that 2017 involved a surprising chain of events. <laughs> it was a cross between a sense of duty to steer a moving freight train and being hit by one. And all of the moments in between, the personal. To my darling girl, Neve. Gosh, I love how independent you are already. I will happily be known as Neve's mum, and I wouldn't have it any other way. The polarising. I didn't always get it right, but we were always motivated by the right things. The extraordinary. I'm announcing an alert system for COVID-19. A valedictory is not a place to summarise a pandemic. No one has the time for that kind of group therapy, <laughs> and I will concede a tough experience personally. The utterly devastating. Their stories and phases remain etched in my mind and likely will forever. Ardern's notes for that poignant press conference are heading to Te Papa. This is one of New Zealand's darkest days. I still struggle to talk about March 15. Highlighted for impact in the notes, the words that united New Zealand and travelled the world. They are us. Her successor, Chris Hipkins, coy on whether he'll dish his former boss a gong. Prime Minister, will you give Jacinda Ardern a damehood? You know we don't talk about those things uh, before decisions are made. How does Dame Jacinda Ardern sound? Uh, nice try. It's more up to Ardern. It's customary for former PMs to be offered the nod. Some turn it down. Ardern has always written her own story. Now she joins the history books. And that is how I'd like the history books to record the major milestones and challenges that we faced. I did not take them on alone. I took them on with great people. The Right Honourable Jacinda Ardern, over and out. Well, Jenna, Jacinda Ardern has just wrapped up. So what was the mood like in the House? Yeah, incredibly emotional. In fact, one of the Labour MP, Shannon Halbert, was even passing out tissues to his colleagues before the speech in anticipation of uh, the emotion that would be shown. Jacinda Ardern cracked a lot of jokes, but she also uh, caught, uh, caught her breath a couple of times, talking about some of those emotional moments that she went through as Prime Minister. The public gallery was absolutely stacked in there, and there's even an overflow room of people uh, that came to watch, including people like uh, former Prime Prime Minister Helen Clark, uh, Jacinda Ardern's right-hand man during the COVID-19 pandemic, Sir Ashley Bloomfield, and the Pike River families were in the audience as well. So uh, an emotional exit for Jacinda Ardern. She spoke uh, about being a hugger there and said she would rather be a hugger than heartless. Absolutely. That's Jenna Lynch live at Parliament for us. Thanks very much.